supernatural you believe in god it's like i believe something something you don't know the name that name is god <laughs> you may call it power you may call it anything if you don't believe in god then you listen to my video cassette is the quran god's word if you don't know who that power is yet you listen to my cassette is the quran god's word where i have proven scientifically undoubtedly existence of allah subhanahu wa taala and the quran is the word of almighty god Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Kigan and your girl Fanny Lungu, and we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody. For subscribing to our channel you're the realest mvp and again guys you want to thank the people who subscribe to our new channel which is funny and jesse 2.0 you are also the realest mvp thank you so much keep on subscribing right now we are at 30 subscribers or something like that and we want to get to at least 100 subscribers we have a lot of good stuff yeah yeah we have a lot of good stuff for you guys anyway guys uh so right about now we're gonna do another reaction and uh this one was suggested by I don't know why I say a lot of people. I think so many people will tell us to react to this, yeah? And they suggested that we should go react to Brilliant. Dr. Zakir Naik proved hell and heaven in two ways. Wow. This should be a serious one, anyway. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. <laughs> Good evening, doctor. Sales manager from shipping company. Is the hell and paradise are there? How as a common person I believe? I don't believe in any religion. Well, ask the question that, how do I know that hell and heaven? How will a common man believe? I don't believe in a religion. Brother, what is the definition of religion? Religion is a way of life. How you lead your life? Many people say that I don't mind. I'm just a human being. I'm born. I will do test and error and I will know how to lead a life. For example, you go to a forest. You are going to a forest the first time. You don't know whether the fruits are poisonous or not. If you start eating any fruit, you may end up eating a fruit which is poisonous and you may die. What do you do? You ask an expert. Right or wrong? When you get sick, who do you go to, brother? When you are sick, who do you go to? Why? The doctor is an expert in treating sickness, correct? You can't say, I am a human being. I will treat myself. No. That's what the Quran says in Surah Nahal. The Quran says in Surah Nahal, chapter 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter 20, verse number 7, if you don't know, ask the person who is expert. Similarly, to lead a life, we have to ask the expert. Now, who is the expert? Who is the expert? The person who created us. Who created us? It's Almighty God. So, we have to follow the commandment of Almighty God. If you do not believe in Almighty God, you should listen to my video cassette. Is the Quran God's word where I've proved logically and scientifically the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are an atheist, are you an atheist, brother? Are you an atheist? Pardon me? Are you an atheist? No, no. Not an atheist. So what do you do you believe in God? Actually, I believe in the power. But fine. That means you believe in God. <laughs> so you I want to call it power, you want to call it supernatural, you believe in God. It's like I believe something. Something. You don't know the name. That name is God. <laughs> you may call it power, you may call it anything. If you don't believe in God, then you listen to my video cassette is the Quran God's word. If you don't know who that power is, yet you listen to my cassette is the Quran God's word, where I've proven scientifically, undoubtedly, existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the Quran is the word of Almighty God. Now coming to your question. If you say about power, that means you believe in a religion. Because religion by definition, according to Oxford Dictionary, religion means a belief in a supernatural controlling power. Power word is there. That means you believe in a religion. Religion, according to Oxford Dictionary, means 
a belief in a supernatural controlling power, a personal God or gods that deserve obedience and worship. That means you believe in religion, you don't know the definition of religion. So don't say I don't believe in religion. Religion is English word, brother. Religion is English word. If you open the Oxford Dictionary, it says religion means a belief in a superhuman controlling power and you believe in a power. Or a personal God or God that is a worship or obedience. To know more about that power, you see my video because it is a Quran God's word. Now coming to your question, basic question, how will I prove that there is hell and heaven? Now if you hear my video because I've proved many scientific aspects in the Quran, if you use science to the Quran, what we come to know that whatever the Quran has said today, 80% can be proved to be 100% correct scientifically. Quran speaks about various scientific facts, which we came to know recently. It speaks about astronomy, it speaks about the spherical nature of the earth, it speaks about the Big Bang, it speaks about the light of the moon, it's not its own light, reflected light, it speaks about the water cycle, it speaks about biology, it speaks about botany, it speaks about zoology, it speaks about embryology, all these things. Now, today, is the age of science and technology. If we put this test of science to the Quran, what we come to know, 80% whatever the Quran has said is 100% perfectly correct. The balance 20% is ambiguous. Neither right, neither wrong. Out of the 20%, not even 0.01% has been proved to be wrong. By scientific fact. It is ambiguous. So what my logic says, when 80% is 100% correct and not even 0.01% of the 20% is proved wrong. So my logic says that inshallah, even that 20% will be correct. It's a logical belief. I being a medical doctor, Quran, speak of astronomy, embryology, genetics, everything perfect. Then you ask me, brother, you being a doctor, you believe in hell? You believe in heaven? You believe in jinn? You believe in life after death? So my logic says, inshallah, even the other 20% in the Quran, which science hasn't reached up to that level. Science cannot prove it. Maybe science will prove 50 years later or 10 years later. But today science hasn't reached that level. So in this way, I believe whatever 20% which science hasn't proved to be right or wrong, inshallah, even that will be right. This is one way to prove about hell and heaven. There's another way, simple way without reading Quran. Brother, I am asking a simple question. Is robbing good or bad? If robbing is good or bad? Robbing is bad. Bad? Yeah. Raping a girl is good or bad? No, 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 bad. Bad. Okay, now, I am asking you a question. Logically, I suppose happen to be the biggest mafia. Hypothetically, I am a big robber. You prove to me logically and scientifically. I am a very logical person. I am a scientific person. I am a logical person and scientific person. You prove to me why robbing is bad for me and I will stop robbing. Only one reason you give me. One good reason why robbing is bad for me and I will stop robbing. It hurts others. It hurts people. It hurts others. What difference does it make to me? If it hurts, if I rob, if I rob a thousand real, it is benefiting me. I can see movie. I can go to a five-star hotel. What difference does it make whether it hurts others? Does it hurt me? I told you, prove to me why it is bad for me, not for others. I am least bothered about the others. Why is it bad for me? When I'm robbing thousand, if it hurts him, no problem. What difference does it make to me? If it hurts somebody else, does it make a difference to me? I can enjoy, I can see movie. I can eat chicken biryani. I asked you, give me one logical reason why it is bad for me, not why it is bad for others. I am a big mafia. I am powerful. I am a scientific person, logical person. Prove to me one good reason, logical, why robbing is bad, I will stop robbing. Come on. Another try, brother. Another try. One more try. Why it is bad? No answer. No answer. Try, try. There are 20, 30 reasons, 100 reasons you can give. You know, actually, as you said, the religion means the way of life. Not religion. Why robbing is bad? Tell me. Don't go to religion. No, no. 
I am I'm coming to the point. No, not point. First tell me where opening is that will come back to your point afterwards. I'll come to your point afterwards. When that yes. is the way of life. Not way of life. Tell me why robbing is bad according to you. Why it is bad for me, I will stop robbing. Up to me, you know, it hurts others. So, but you know, what difference does it make to me when it hurts others? Does it hurt me? Of course, you know, why once... Why it is bad for me, not why it is bad for others. Once we come to the society, you know, we have to face, face them. Okay, once we come to society, you have to face them. I'm facing them. I'm facing them. What's work? Why it is bad for me? The society won't respect us. What difference does it make whether respect or not? I can eat chicken biryani. I can go and see a movie. I can go to a five-star hotel. What difference does it make to be if society respects or not? Imagine someone respects society. The poor person doesn't have food to eat. He'll be happy? No. You require food to eat or not? You require food to survive? Only society respect in the person is starving to death. You know, in India, thousands of people are starving to death. What difference does it make? I must give me one good reason why robbing is bad. I stop robbing. Why it is bad for me? Can anyone else help him out? Why robbing is bad? Why robbing is bad? There are various answers. I'll help you out. You may say, police will catch you. Good logical reason. Police will come and catch you. Correct, right or wrong? Correct. Ah, but you didn't give the... I'm helping you out. <laughs> but brother, I told you I'm a powerful mafia. The police is in my pocket. Ministers are in my pocket. Big mafia. See, all the top mafia, the police are in the pocket. They are on my payroll. The police is on my payroll. What will they catch me? Small robber like you should not rob. You will get arrested. I'm a top mafia. The police is on my payroll. Even the ministers are on my payroll. They are in my pocket. So small robber like you should not rob, big mafia like me can rob. Another reason, I'll help you out. Maybe somebody will come and rob you. Yes. No one can rob me because I've got 100 bodyguards. All of them hiding behind the stage. Bodyguards. Small robber robs, somebody will rob him. No one can rob me because I've got bodyguards. Hundreds of bodyguards with AK-47. So logically, you cannot prove at all why robbing is bad. With all your science and technology, you cannot prove robbing is bad. So shall I take it in that way, you know, it is to make people fear that, you know, if you do the wrong things, then when you die. What wrong thing? Where is robbing wrong? First you prove it is wrong, na? Where is robbing wrong? You haven't proved to me robbing is wrong. When you prove robbing is wrong, then you can say don't do wrong things, na? Therefore, what is good, what is right, you require a creator to tell you. You require a doctor to tell you what food is good, what food is bad. This fruit is poisonous, this is healthy for you. Apple is healthy for you, wild berries are poisonous for you. A doctor tells you. There's no better doctor than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Logically speaking, logically speaking, brother, that mafia has got bodyguards. No one can harm him. And believe me, there are many examples. He dies a very comfortable death. But I'm asking a simple question now, brother. Don't you think that there should be justice? Brother? Yes. Justice. Someone should punish him or not? The law is there. But the law cannot punish every human being here. Why? There are many mafias in Italy. There are many underworld people in India. And the law can't do anything to them. The law is in the pocket. But yet, you as a common man, don't you think you should be punished? Raping is good or bad. There are many people who rape. They rape the girls. No, nothing. The law cannot catch them. So don't you think he should be punished? Yes or no? Yes. But there are many people you see in this world who are big mafia. They die comfortable. They are rich. They are millionaires. There should be some justice. The reply is given by Creator. Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85. Allah says, Kullu nafsin zaykatul maut. Every soul shall have a taste of death. But the final recompense will be on the day of judgment. This life is the mere chattels of deception. If there is no life after death, this life is of injustice. What we say that the total justice would be on the day of judgment. Our Creator Almighty God will give justice. I tell the person, fine, you may be a big robber, for example. You are that mafia now, I am a Muslim. No one can harm you. 
police in your pocket and then ask to justice is required yes if someone robs you no one can rob you agree but don't you feel there should be justice there are many robbers there are many evil there are many criminals who go scot free unless there is life after death you cannot prove robbing is bad you cannot prove raping is bad unless there is life after death no humanity no book on humanity no mother teresa no mahatma gandhi can prove robbing is bad without the concept of life after death because i am asking you a question hitler history tells us hitler incinerated 6 million jews how many jews 6 million 6 million suppose the law catches hitler what punishment can you give hitler so that you can compensate for he has burnt 6 million jews alive can you give him any punishment brother we have to put him in jail till his life death okay will it be equivalent to burning 6 million jews is burning better or putting in jail better it's burning is of, of course. course so maximum you can do is burn him alive but that will be equal to 1 out of 6 million what about the remaining 5 million 999999 people what about that what justice is your lord going to do but the quran says in surah nisa chapter number 4 verse number 56 as to those who reject our signs we shall cast them in the hell fire and as often as the skins are roasted we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain if hitler killed 6 million jews Allah says he can put him into hell fire and give him fresh skin again 6 million times Allah can burn him not here in the year after in the hell so only way I can prevent Hitler from killing 6 million Jews is tell him that here you kill 6 million Jews Allah will burn you 12 million times in the year after you can't give him that thing here what you realize without the concept of hell and heaven you cannot prove robbing is bad you cannot prove raping is bad that's the reason our creator almighty god who has created the human beings he tells us what is good what is bad for us and he tells us the rules and regulations this is called as religion so first you have to find out which book is the authentic book which has been revealed by this almighty god and when you do research you will come to it that is the quran all the scriptures speak about almighty god and all the scriptures they point out to the last and final revelation of the quran and last and final messenger prophet muhammad peace be upon him hope that answers the question thanks There's a lot that he mentioned and talked about. The things that I agree with, there are the things that I don't agree with. Um, Can you start with what you don't agree with? I don't agree like the doctor. When you sick, you're supposed to go. Okay, fine. Like definitely, when you sick, you go to the doctor. But it doesn't mean like the doctor is the only person who can heal you. There are many ways that. as a human being ask yourself why is it that when you cut over here it just heals by itself that means we have a mechanism of healing just by ourselves we can heal even without going to the doctor i mean subjecting ourselves into pharmaceutical and all these type of things if you just go further and do your own research you will understand you don't need uh doctors prescriptions and all these type of things you will just know the type of food to eat and keep yourself and avoid uh the things that are going to put you into does it only have to be food because i'm thinking mm-hmm. we africans maybe maybe not with us but our parents were using traditional means yes yes they pick yes. some roots some leaves and what and yes. make a concoction give it to you yeah yeah, yeah. but no. it's the same thing is i'm trying to say it's the same thing as doctor It's no. just that this one person is using natural things and the other one is not. No, no, no. I, I mean, 
uh, you can say the same thing, but you have to have a knowledge whereby you need to know for yourself what do you eat and what uh, are you supposed to go out there and pick. Because, okay, today we have pharmacies. When you're sick, you know where to go and get the Panadol and whatnot, yeah? yeah? Is it not you who's going there? Mm -hmm. So you have to have that knowledge of, if I know that I'm sick, I know exactly what to ingest in, but not the use of pharmaceutical. Use of pharmaceuticals, they're just uh, lowering ourselves, like like putting us into our, uh, what do you call this? Um, they are lowering our vibration down. And another thing, it's not all about, what do you call this? It's not all about going to the doctor. You can heal yourself through other means. There's, yeah. uh, there's, you can, okay, for me, I feel if you meditate, you, you tend to have your silent moment and you can also heal from that. Going out to the sun, you can heal yourself from the sun. Going out into the nature just to get peace, you can heal yourself from that. Just listening to good music, not 444 hertz, just, you know, the music that resonates with the frequency of the world. Simple as that, you get it. That's why I didn't agree with him. But when it came to uh, prove, to, uh, when he said like prove to me uh, if robbing is bad, I mean, okay, <laughs> that guy was really challenged. He was really trying to answer that question, but he couldn't. But if I'm supposed to prove to him, I'll say that, okay, fine, the mafias, even if they rob, they're gonna, at the end of the day, they're gonna, you know, run a, a what do you call this, like, go away with it or something like that. Yeah? If but, they rob, though, when they rob. No, when they rob. But according to, okay, this is my own opinion. Don't take it personal or something like that. I, for me, I think that when you do bad thing to somebody or to people, it's still gonna come back to you. I was thinking the same thing. It's so can gonna, you give karma as a response to yeah, the question you asked? Karma. Karma is there. If you do something bad to somebody, it's gonna come back to you. And in this world we live in today, this is where you see, like, you're, you're, you're gonna receive your karma back. It doesn't mean that somebody's gonna rob you back. It can be maybe your child. Your child maybe might be sick, and you might end up spending all your money through your child, and then you go broke, or somebody in your family is gonna die. Or, you know, all these small, small things. It doesn't, and you know, okay, sometimes... and it doesn't mean that, sorry. You can talk. Okay, about Hitler killing 6,000 or 6 million people, fine, it doesn't make sense when burning him, it doesn't satisfy us. But what's gonna happen is, pr probably through his life, there are some things that happen to him. You get it? You might do all those type of things, but mentally, you're not living, you're being disturbed. You get it? I mean, this is, there's so much that is going on. But I really understood where he's coming from, a doctor, Nike, I really understand where it's coming from. There's some things I uh, that I agree with him, but there's some that I don't agree with him. What do you think? I wanted to add to the point where you were talking about what was it? Was it karma? Mm -hmm. I was thinking people are not aware that today you may do something to someone, it may not come back to you, but it's going to affect your next generation. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And you find your next generation and whatever follows after them will be affected. Yeah. I so there's such a thing about. And then, I don't know, did I miss the point where he proved that there's heaven or earth? Or he just said you can't prove it? No, he said that that's, that's why there's heaven and because now Hitler, because he, you, you cannot say like robbing is bad, or if, even if you put Hitler in jail or, or if you want to burn Hitler, you only burn him once and he will go away with that. But in heaven, or sorry, but in hell, it's gonna burn six million times. Every time he burns, sorry, the body burns, the skin refreshes according to the Quran. But like this is what burn. I always think, since none of us have experienced hell or yeah. heaven, yeah. so no. who knows what's going to happen, even mm -hmm. if it's written. No one has gone to hell and back. That's, that's what I'm saying. We don't have the answers. Like, we don't. No one has so gone So there is pretty much no um, 
proof that there's real life after death? Yeah, there's no proof to that. So what leaves the answer to us is where we live in on earth. This is where you I mean this is where you're going to get back all your karma. The bad things that you've done is gonna come back to you. Guys, if you uh, feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in our comment section, tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about doc uh, Dr. Zakir Naik on on this video right here, proving hell and, and heaven in two ways. Just let us know what you think. According to your belief, what do you think? Do you think that um, when we die, we go to, uh, when you die, you go to hell, or when you die, you go to heaven? Just let, let us know. And uh, just give us a good reason for us to, to think about. Okay, I know you're going to quote the Bible, you're going to quote the, the Quran, but you as a person, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Just let us know. These topics sometimes they are they are so deep. I mean, you you might want to think of them, but you can't comprehend. Uh, uh, I mean, to, to to that extent of of knowing what is happening out there. Even Kanye West say you ain't got the answers. We don't have the answers, guys. The only person who has the answers is the creator, the person who created us. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. The most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us the better, better, and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we'll see you in the next video. And peace out.